Now coming to the themes of this poem, uh, one of the important theme of this poem is forbidding mourning. The main discussion that we have in this poem is about uh, not mourning for any loss. Now though the loss that we would be uh, discussing here would be the separation of a lover from his beloved. As we know that it was John Dunn who was leaving his wife Anne. So he was trying to convince her or persuade her that this separation is not going to affect their relationship. Now in general mourning is forbidden whether this mourning would be at the death of someone or at the separation of someone. So that would be one of the themes of this poem canonization. The other theme is the theme of love. Now love is a dominant theme, you know, our omnipresent theme of John Donne's poetry. And this poem is no exception. And again, the love that he would be dealing here is not, you know, uh, the physical love or the physical relationship, but it is that kind of love which was exaggerated by uh, John Donne throughout his poetry. For example, in the canonization, it is that pious kind of a love. And even here, it is a very refined kind of a love, which is not the love of the dull and sublunary lovers, which is not the love of the laity, which is not the love of the common man. But it is again the love which can be canonized, which would be canonized and people would invoke to it. That is the kind of love that John Donne deals with in this poem. And another thing of another aspect of this love in this poem is that this love is not you know uh, subject to the physical presence of lover and beloved you know uh, it it is something which can you know accept the separation which can accept separation easily and that separation does not impact it but rather strengthens and refines it another theme that we have in this poem is about death and loss now, death and loss are important themes, you know, they would be, you know, uh, themes which are not, you know, at the surface level, but inherent in this poem would be these two themes. Uh, for example, uh, death and loss, since it's about mourning, the separation of the lover is about the loss. Now, loss of a person, loss of love, loss of presence. And the, the, the reference in the very first poem about the death of the pious man is also a reference to the death. But then both these things that is death and loss, these are an important aspects of human life or human society. So they must not be, you know, ex they, they, they should be accepted with open arms. And John Donne says that they must not be mourned. But they must be, you know, accepted because these are the things which cannot be ignored. So these were some of the themes of this poem, our valediction forbidding morning. In the next section, we will deal with symbolism.